Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I'm talking about the YouTube like button. Why? Well, YouTube in their tweets and says in response to creator feedback around well-being and targeted dislike campaigns, we're testing a few new designs that don't show the public dislike count. Right? Now, this is just an experiment right now, right? See, I've been targeted for a dislike thing where like my videos, like some of them after they got uploaded shortly would get five dislikes and some of my old videos suddenly got five dislikes. So I understand that people probably do target certain YouTubers for different reasons, right? But I think that's kind of like an occupational hazard in to tell the truth. See, when you give people freedom to dislike, yes, there will be some people who probably take advantage of it. Some people who may, may not even watch the video, they just dislike it. Maybe they don't like the YouTuber, maybe they don't like something he or she said earlier or something like that. or maybe they don't even like the person behind the YouTube channel. And it does kind of suck if and when that happens, right? But at the same time, it's just one of those, th one of those cost of freedom almost, I want to say. Because if you remove the public dislike count completely, all of a sudden no one outside of the person who uploads the video will be able to see the dislikes. So people won't even be able to tell, like a video could have 20,000 dislikes, 1,000 likes, and you'll see the 1,000 likes and that's it. And you'll be like, wow, people must really like this video. So while I don't agree with dislike campaigns, I still don't think that the answer is hiding the dislike count from the public. But what do you guys think? Are you guys in agreement with hiding the dislike count from the public? And have you guys ever been targeted for dislike campaigns? Those of you who make videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.